everybody, it's Misty. I'm here with my sunshine shop again, and we're doing our crafty corner for today. And um, this is a paper craft for kids, and it's a, um, we call it a squash bug. I found this idea online on YouTube, and um, I can't remember whose YouTube I got it from, but I've seen it done a few times. And it's a great gift idea, it's a great um, project for kids to do, real simple, easy. Once you get the hang of it, it's definitely easy to do. So I'm going to show you what it is. This is a mini one, and um, it folds down into a square. And once you open it up, there's one square, and it opens up pretty big. There's another square, and then the last square. So um, this one I made, I did it as an example. It's a Valentine's for my husband. But um, you put pictures in here. You can add a little folds, little flaps to do all kinds of neat little things. Um, and once you're done with it, it just folds. It, squa it squashes back down. So you just squash it back down, and it comes back to be this little thing. So it's um, this little accordion kind of um, album. So we're going to get started, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, I've made this using three 12 by 12 sheets of cardstock. So you've got um, just one basic sheet of cardstock, and you're going to make a few folds. Your first fold you're going to do, you're going to fold your paper in half, and you're just going to fold it in half right down the center. So what, after you do that, you need to open it back up and flip it over and fold it back the other way. Each fold that you make, you need to make sure that you fold it both ways so it gets creased on both sides. So now that you've folded it down the center, you're gonna turn it and fold it down along the other center so it makes a cross in the middle. Again, folding both sides. Once you're done doing that, you're gonna fold down one diagonal. You're only gonna do one diagonal, you're not gonna do both. So pick whichever one you want, it does not matter. You're gonna fold it again. Make sure you crease it really good. Open it up, flip it over, and fold it back the other way so that your paper gets creased on both sides. So once you've done this, you've done it with three sheets. I've went ahead and I've, just to save time, I've done all three of them. And we're gonna start putting your book together. So I've got my first cardstock here. I'm going to make sure that I have one solid square up in the top left and one solid square down on the bottom right. Now this is the square that we need to concentrate on. We are going to put adhesive in the square. You're going to make sure that you keep your adhesive inside your crease marks. Okay, and you know me, I love my hot glue gun, so we're gonna use it again. But before I glue, I wanna tell you what we're gonna do. Once we put adhesive on here, you're gonna take your second sheet of cardstock and you need to make sure that your squares are the same way. So you've got one solid square up at the top left and one solid square at the bottom right. Once you put your adhesive on your bottom right square, you're going to lay your square over the other one. And you need to make sure that you stay inside the crease lines. It's very important or your book won't fold properly. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and glue that. And you don't need a lot of adhesive. I'm just going to put a little in the center. And again, like I said, you need to make sure you stay inside those crease lines. Make sure it gets good and secure. Okay. So you've got two sheets here. We're going to move over. And we're going to this bottom right square. And as you can see, there's a pattern going on. You've got all your solid squares going on one side and all your solid squares or your folded squares on the other. So again, we're gonna put adhesive in this bottom square and we're going to adhere the last sheet right on top of it. So just put some adhesive in here. And again, I don't need a lot, just enough to get it to stick. I wouldn't recommend using hot glue. It's just right now that's what I have available. So we're going to do that. Okay, so you've got all three sheets stuck together. You've got one, two, and then your third one here. Okay, so what we're going to do is folding it. And this is kind of the tricky part, but once, you, once you've folded this once, it'll be easy to do. You'll get the hang of it, and it's no problem. So you've got 
your two your squares here that are folded down the diagonal. You're going to take these two and you're going to bring these points together. And because you creased your paper on both sides, it's going to want to fold that way anyway. So you're not going to have a lot of trouble. So you're going to bring these two down to this bottom square here. Hold it down with one hand and just bring this one down. And then you're just going to run your fingers over your creases to make sure. If you have your bone folder handy, you can use that as well just to push your corners down to make sure that your creases stay. Now, once you're done with that, I'm going to flip this over just to make the folding easier. We're going to do the exact same thing. So you flip your book over. You're going to take your next two points that are right here. You're going to do the same thing. Bring it this way. That one may come open. It's okay. Don't worry about it. So you're going to go ahead and push this down. And then bring your hand down and push it down again. Easy, easy, easy. Just make sure you push it down and it stays, okay? So now I'm going to flip it over one more time and I'm going to do the same thing again. You're going to take your two corners here and see this one doesn't want to fold. You're just going to kind of push it in to help it along there. There we go. Okay, so you're going to take these two corners, bring them together, push them down to that square that's right here, hold them down and then push your solid square back down. And then I'm just going to take my bone folder and make sure that all of mine are nice. Okay, so I'm going to flip it back over. Now I've got, this would be my cover. And as you open it up again, it, this is a bigger one and I want to show you the difference between the sizes. This is what's really neat about this book. Okay, the one on top I used making, um, I made this using an 8x8 eight eight square. This one was used making a 12 by 12. So you can use a 12 by 12 sheet, you can use a 10 by 10 sheet, you can use an eight by eight and a six by six. I wouldn't go any smaller than a six by six because as you can tell, this is an eight by eight square that I started out with and your squares um, come out to be four by four. So if you used anything smaller than a six by six, it's gonna be really, really small. But the smaller your paper is, the smaller your book is. So this one, of course, it's a little bit smaller. It opens up a little bit better. You can see it on the screen. Um, and I want to show you really quick or just tell you how I did this. I actually took, um, this is what your book looks like without anything on it. Um, this book here, I actually put a cover on it. So what I did is I cut out a square that was four and a half by four and a half inches. And I put it on a piece of cardstock and then I just adhered it to the front. I adhered it to here. If you want to put the ribbon on, if you can see, this ribbon actually goes back behind my book. So what I did was I decided where I wanted my ribbon to lay <clears throat> on the back of my book that was um, that I folded. I glued my ribbon down, so I glued it here to the back of the book. You can see that. I put the ribbon down, and then I put another piece of cardstock. So this is another four and a half by four and a half sheet of cardstock that I put over the ribbon. So this became my back cover, and then I also have the front cover. And now that's only if you want to put ribbon on it. You don't have to put a cover if you don't want to. This is perfectly fine the way it is. Um, but it's a great idea. I saw a girl with this. She had all of her friends um, throughout the school year. They wrote in it. They um, put little notes into it, into it for each other. They did pictures here. You can do a picture here. So it's just a really fun, neat idea for kids to do. Um, you can do it for any occasion. Valentine's, birthdays. They're great gift ideas. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope that it was that it's easy for you guys to get. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave us a comment and I will try to answer any questions that you have. I also put the instructions um, written up for you, so if you want to go through and read them again, you can. Um, I'm really glad that you guys joined us today and thanks for tuning in and hopefully we'll be back next week with another tutorial. Thanks guys. Have a good day.